Mike, well, we're living in an age of instant information, and throughout this week, KXLH has brought you the news right away as the Corral fire was unfolding. So much so that past Tuesday alone, KXLH.com had over 36,000 views. Take a look at how much of a player the Internet and social media is in news reporting. For KXLH.com, it's pretty consistent, except when there's, you know, breaking news, significant events. And as soon as the fire broke out, the Corral fire, traffic skyrocketed, more than a tenfold increase. As one of the first reporters on scene, it was not only my job to get the information and develop the story, but to get that information as soon as possible and relay it through multiple platforms. One of the things that we've done is put together a press list, or I've done in my phone, of the text message. And when we get new information that we need the public to know, we go through the news agencies. And as soon as we have that information from a reliable source, we can get it on our website. In the case of the Corral Fire, people didn't want to wait for the newscast for information. So we had to get updates out immediately because this was really a matter of people's safety. I'm wondering how long we're going to be evacuated and how, you know, how just how long we're going to be out of our homes and, and away from our, you know, just everything that we're used to being around all the time. In this day and age of Facebook and things like that, that people expect to know and we understand that. Social media has been a blessing for breaking news situations to help people figure out what's going on and how it's going to affect them. And KXLH and our viewers would like to send a big thank you to the fire crews and emergency personnel who have been working so hard the last few days to keep our community safe. We asked our Facebook followers to send a message to the crews and we got an overwhelming response. Jody Oshheim says we never realize how much we take for granted the services that all these men and women do until a major event like this happens. Gym Leaders Valentine says thank you to all those that took the took a risk to fight the fire to save my home and many others. Thank you is not enough. And Catherine Elizabeth says thank you for your dedication, bravery and hard work. Those of us who were evacuated appreciate you more than we can say. And many of